Okay, so I thought I recreate the Amiga Sound Enhancer. Uh, it's a hardware device for the Amiga back in the 90s. Shake it out here. Looks like this Amiga Sound Enhancer. You can change the frequency. The uh, sound was pretty good at the time. So I think I used. Um, Use this uh, calf to recreate some sound from YouTube video of uh, of uh, Amiga demos. So this you can install from. Uh, so you need um, QJack, pulse audio module, calf plugins, and then you use uh, PA PACTL load module module sync and in the sound settings you select jack sync and then you load Q jack and cat plugin pack for jack so you have here then you just uh, connect Pulse Audio Jack to this one to Cap Studio Gear, which is the the plugin. So it first it connected to the equalizer. Then then the Studio Gear is connected to the, the stereo enhancer, and then. Uh, the last important part to get audio out, we connect the stereo enhancer or the last plugin in the rack to the play out playback. So we're gonna see how that sounds. Or so we got first here. So you got plugin inputs for the equalizer eight band. So inputs one to pose audio left and right like this and output to cap stereo because I added one this is pretty it takes a, pretty, uh, a little long time to reconnect this uh, it could be automatic but because it is under the equalizer band so it should know it's connect to the stereo but then again you connect outputs to uh, stereo to the stereo from the plugin 8 equalizer so output that output 2 and then you connect the stereo connector to inputs were EQ and EQ2 and output was a simple screen recorder that was um, going to use and the playback 1 and 2 so this works ok let's try this then then you just uh, change a little the settings for these so the video is a creative commons Amiga demo, an old Amiga demo. Check it out. Creative Commons. Amiga Phenomena, Phenomena Enigma. Amiga demo. Okay.